Hey everybody, it's Bruce with Nature Calls, and uh, thought I'd talk a little bit about how I go about what I do as far as designing or coming up with a design. Um, actually got some of my daughter's clothes I've been working on. So there's, you know, sewing, sewing not just this stuff is, is also good. It kind of gets your mind off of things. But I'm in the middle of my backpack and uh, actually doing the back of my backpack. And I had to make a few decisions on on what how I fasten things and where I fasten them. I had ideas in the beginning, but as you go along, you 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 come up with new ideas or you look at something else. And that's kind of where I start is I've, I've looked at a lot of different uh, tents and backpacks and hammocks and tarps and you know I, I don't have that, all that engineering background that. Um, the people that design that kind of stuff do, but I can learn. I can definitely learn from them, and I can look at uh, hopefully what steps they've taken, uh, what sequence um, things that I have to think about along the way. Um, some of the problems I get into is I love a little bit of each, and sometimes you just can't put everything in to a particular item, and like say. So this backpack I'm working on and I'm trying to integrate a frame and lightweight and um, uh, load lifters and all those kind of things. Um, and then the reasons for those different components. And uh, then of course I think about them all night long and for days on end, it's like, am I really doing the right thing? Uh, does that make any sense? So then I go look at equipment again. So like right now, working on my back, which is basically the structure of my backpack and what it's going to take to make it what I want and am I doing the right things. So if I wanted to, I could just, I want to make the ultralight backpack and make all my gear ultralight gear. You know, I could just get the very thinnest fabric I could find um, and, uh, you know, just, just go super, super ultra lightweight, you know, human fiber, um, type of a material like a half ounce and I could get I just make basically make a bag with just some straps um, the bag itself might weigh you know eight ounces and then my gear might weigh five pounds so it'd be and I can do that I know how to do that I've got the ability I've got the design but that's really it that's a real basic basic design it's basically a, a grocery bag um, and people do make things out of like Ikea bags. But once you want to get into a little bit more comfort, a little bit more load bearing, uh, a little bit more adjustability, a little more durability, uh, that's where things start to change. And you also have to, when you start making changes on durability and strength, and that's where the different fabrics come into play. So this this grid stop is a, is it was used it has been used for quite a while. This is uh, probably for the last four or five years. A lot of the ultralight packs have been using this. Um, but then, like the X pack, which is what this fabric is, it was probably about the last three years. So it's just a, another type of fabric, another way of making it strong more abrasion resistance, more strength, more lightweight. I think this fabric here is one of the lightest weight uh, fabrics that you can that you definitely want to use for say something like a backpack, but it doesn't have that abrasion resistance. So it's, it's all a matter of, and that's why this pack, I'm doing a lot of experimentation. Um, this this lycra on the outside is a, is a Cordura brand, so it's 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 four way stretch, but it also has that durability that the, the threads they use is, is a higher durability. So there's there's a lot that I, I put into um, when I design something, and then I run into issues. <laughs> so so like with this backpack, I wanted to be able to put a lightweight frame, got a carbon fiber. Um, stay that I've made and then like right now I am putting on the shoulder straps. The shoulder straps to make them more load bearing they come up and over your shoulder. I could have easily just had it come straight off and 
but then I would have to make sure I was going for super lightweight um, and just relying on the thread stitching um, between the top of this part of the pack and the, the throat of your pack. Um, but that is where my load lifters are going to go up in there and then it has to come back. So there's, there's a lot that goes, goes it's gonna go into all this. And I've gotta think all that out. So these are kind of the things that, you know, was that a good idea? Uh, should I just move this up higher and forgotten about, you know, trying to make it a, a load bearing pack? I sure could have done that. Um, and I might on the next one. I've also got uh, a situation where, so where I've sewn on the hip belt and the shoulder straps, I need to cover that up. Um, a lot of pack covers will use this, this um, mesh and just cover the whole thing. I'm trying to save some weight, so I'm just gonna cover the certain areas with that. So when I do have my frame in here, it's gonna add that, that um, air, air curve. But that's, so I've got a lot of things that I'm kind of dealing with right now on this particular project. And uh, so that's where I've got to think through. It takes me time. This is my profession, um, but it's fun. I mean, it's all fun stuff for me to do. Um, so that I just take a minute and kind of talk about it. But things like hammocks, um, they aren't big deals as far as I'm concerned, unless you want to have a, a zipped on uh, bug net or uh, in, uh, integrated bug net. Um, that takes a little more sewing skill, maybe a little bit more design and planning. Um, but that's where I kind of started was with a hammock because basically or the, the, the um, gathered in hammock. So that's basically a, a rectangle piece of cloth. And then you just whip the ends together somehow and put on your suspension and you're done. Um, so that, that, that doesn't take a lot of, of, uh, of say skill or design. Um, there, there are like the Hennessy, uh, they get into more asymmetrical shapes. Um, I don't know if that's necessary or not. I haven't really seen where that's necessary. I have a lot of Hennessy. I've got a lot of hammocks. I've got bridge hammocks. Um, I've got a lot of hammocks and I don't see the real benefit to doing that. I don't see a real weight savings for doing stuff like that. Um, I like, I like convenience of not having to be specific about which way I lay. Um, I just don't think that a half an ounce or a quarter of an ounce is, is worth the trouble. So, um, so that's where like hammocks, uh, gathered in hammocks are really easy to deal with. The bug nets are really easy to deal with. Um, when you get into bridge hammocks, that's, they're kind of, you can make them simple, but then if you really want to get into the tensions and making sure that you've got that flat lay, uh, then you get into a lot more of how fabric reacts. Um, but that's where, you know, you go look at something that's been done already or you or you borrow a friend's so you can take a look at it or you, you know, you buy one like I do and you look and you see how they're, they're putting things together. Uh, backpacks are kind of the same way. It's like you can make a bag, you can just take human fiber and, and make a bag with some shoulder straps. You don't even have to do padded shoulder straps if you're going to do that. Um, but if you're going to have any kind of load bearing, um, which like I drink a lot of water. And so every, every uh, couple liters of water, that's eight pounds. And then on top of our gallon is, is eight pounds. So if you're doing a long stretch, like if you're doing the PCT where you're not going to have water for 20 miles, you're going to easily be, um, you know, seven liters of water. You could be almost 15, 16 pounds of water, just water. Um, not including your kit. If you have an ultra lightweight kit, you're like it's maybe another six to eight pounds. Um, you know, right there, you're already at 25 pounds. So a pack to comfortably carry 25 pounds. Um, and then you have to have food. So you're, you might be easily up to, to 30 pounds. Um, and you need to have a better waist belt um, to get that, that weight up off of your, off of your shoulders some nicer shoulder pads, um, maybe a frame, you know, something to be able to carry that kind of weight. And that's where you kind of get into more of the, the better fabrics, the stronger fabrics. Um, you know, and that's how I would do it. I know there's some people that can do 30 miles in a day and they might not take, um, 
five days to do a long stretch of middle water or two or three days to make the long, you know, they can, they can really move out. Um, but I'm not that way. So I need to have a pack which that's, that's able to carry more or say if I'm uh, taking my fishing gear or I'm taking my pack raft and my fishing gear, I need to have more than just, I'm, I'm a, a, a mountain runner with a lightweight pack. That's for sure. So, um, and then adding things like you can add pockets and pouches and, you know, there's, there's a lot that, that goes into a pack in my opinion. Um, tents are something that I'm not, I haven't delved into yet. Um, I've made real simple tents, but, um, that's where you look at, do you need fabric that stretches? Do you need fabric that's lightweight and doesn't stretch? That goes into, into tarps too. Um, you know, so there's, there's all kinds of things that I look at as far as uh, fabric, weight, durability, uh, tensions and designs. There's, there's a lot to, uh, to take in. So, you know, what I really like to do is I, I, I look at a lot of different, um, already made backpacks, already made, uh, tarps or hammocks. Um, and then I learn, and then I just kind of move on and then I try and incorporate it into something I'm building for myself. So that's how I do it. Um, so I take a second and I'm working on my back of my backpack right now and uh, it's coming along, but I, 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 I've been at this point where it's, um, it, it stopped me where I need to, 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 uh, think things through. So that's how I do it. All right. See you on the trail. Bye now. Thank you.